These are the hash rates you can expect, and we are going to have a look at what is Ergo, why mine it, overclock settings, expected hash rates. Hello, my fellow miner. This is going to be a very exciting video. Now, let's have a look at what Ergo is. What is Ergo? According to Ergo, Ergo is a resilient platform for contractual money. It is designed to be a platform for applications with the main focus of providing an efficient, secure, and easy way to implement financial contracts. However, what it really is, is a cryptocurrency with the most frustrating difficulty curve in the entire world. The difficulty curve is like a roller coaster from hell. One day you earn a lot, the next day you earn absolutely nothing. If you decide to mine Ergo, then keep an eye on the difficulty. Daily. If not, then some days you'll feel like you'll be showered in gold, and other days you'll feel like you're burning your money. Yes, I'm talking from experience. Why mine it? Well, if you like roller coasters from hell, then you have a very good reason. Another good reason is that it has a limited supply of 100 million Ergo. Ergo doesn't have a halving per se, but it gradually falls in reward. And ladies and gentlemen, it has already started. Another good reason could be to mine it now while you can, because when Ethereum goes proof of stake, it will be impossible. Overclock settings. Overclocking in Windows is actually quite easy, and I will give you everything you need while Overclocking in HiveOS in this case is hard. It can be infuriating when it goes wrong, and I will also show why. Unfortunately, it is not as simple as just setting an offset or a lot core. You need both. Lovely, right? Only if you love to be tortured. Now let's have a look at the settings. But first, a word from our sponsor. Well, we don't actually have any. All we have is a mailbox full of spam. So let's just move on. As you can see here, all the cards are LHR cards. And yes, Ergo actually gets detected by LHR. Of course, if you go on GPU mining on Reddit, you will see a lot of people completely denying that, but they are wrong, trust me. Some may even personally attack you, calling you a smelly belly donkey. It is very bad. The order will be the following. GPU, offset core clock, locked core clock, memory hive, memory windows. So let's get to it. RTX 3050, minus 25, 1400, 2300, 1150. RTX 3060, minus 100, 1540, 2600, 1300. RTX 3060 Ti, Hynix revision 1, 50, 1350, 2200, 1100. RTX 3060 Ti, Hynix revision 2, 200, 1740, 3400, 1700. RTX 3070, minus 50, 1455, 2500, 1250. RTX 3070 Ti, minus 100, 1550, 2900, 1450. RTX 3080, 10 gigs, 0, 1600, 3400, 1700. RTX 12 gigs, minus 50, 1350, 3400, 1700. RTX 3080 Ti, 100, 1770, 3600, 1800. I highly recommend that you don't just skip ahead to the ending because Honestly, it is kind of hard to get this working. If you already skipped, then I guess you are back now because you cannot get it working. Welcome back, my fellow miner. Let's start with an easy one first. Let's have a look at the batch file for Windows. Simply create a batch file in your T-Rex miner folder based upon this. The NVIDIA SMI command will lock your graphic card core. You can either use MSI Reset to remove it again, or reboot your PC will also work. Or you can open command prompt as admin and write NVIDIA SMI space dash RGC. That stands for remove graphic core. Add a new NVIDIA SMI line for each graphic card you have. And change dash I0 to dash I1 dash i2 etc etc for each core you have. Add dash 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 
in the T-Rex line, so that it fits the amount of GPUs you are using. If you are using NiceHash, go to NiceHash Stratum Generator, select the correct algorithm and your location, and then simply use that as the pool. Now let's have a look at HiveOS. Set the call to core, the memory to memory, and if you want, the power limit to what you see on the average reported screen in a moment, plus 10 watts. That will give you more time to apply the dark graphic core command. Now open run command, you can use your mobile phone as well. Write NVIDIA SMI space dash I space zero space dash LGC and enter the locked core clock. In the case that you have multiple cores, which you most likely have, then you can apply multiple messages at the same time by using double AND as seen in the blue example. Here is an example of extra config arguments. Take the LHR values from the mining screen. Wait for the first reported hash rate and then apply the run command. You are more than welcome to spam it like crazy to start with for the first 20 seconds. It's time to have a look at the average reported results. I've calculated the average by taking two hours of hash rate statuses and averaging them. The order will be as following. Graphic card, mega hash per second, watts, efficiency. RTX 3050, 41.372, 0.574. RTX 3060, 121.4, 107, 1.135. RTX 3060 Ti Hynix Revision 1 132.8 110 1.207 RTX 3060 Ti Hynix Revision 2 153.8 139 1.106 RTX 3070 155.7 128 1.216 RTX 3070 Ti 181.4 165 1.099 RTX 3080 10 gigs 225.2 201 1.120 RTX 3080 12 gigs 246.5 213 1.157 RTX 3080 Ti 284.7 255 1.116 Please note that the results for the RTX 3080 Ti is from a previous video as the card is currently at repairs. Now let's have a quick look at the mining screen. As can be seen here, I'm using T-Rake version 0.25.9. There's absolutely no difference if you have an earlier version, as long as you don't go way back. At this point, the miner has been running for 8 hours and 35 minutes. There are two very interesting things to note here. One is the LHR, which I recommend you use as a starting point for your tweaking. And the other is memory temperature. If you see how low they actually are compared to, for example, when you mine Ethereum. It is quite awesome. That of course also means that if you can only clock your graphic card at 1100 in Windows and 2200 in HiveOS when mining Ethereum, then you can actually go even higher here, maybe all the way up to 2600. Another thing to note is the two invalid chairs on my RTX 3070s. And that is due to me applying the LGC command too late. Thinking back, I should actually just have spammed it like a crazy person. Now, what's really funny here is the very low LHR value the RTX 3050 has. I simply could not get it working with anything else, so if you have a tip, then write a comment please. If you want to help me out and you like the video, then please click like. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And if you really want to help me out, then share the video with someone that would find it useful. See you in the next one.